Hi, my name is Sasha. Welcome to the Mothership. I wanted to talk about the process and the path today. Um, we all have our own unique spiritual journey where we learn to open up to our own gifts and our own alignment. And this is true for every individual on the planet. Um, no matter what your uh, beliefs are, beliefs are actually something that are formed outside of who we are. And there is also a way um, to change your beliefs and your belief systems. And many times you'll find this happening as you evolve in your own alignment and on your own spiritual opening. Um, more perceptions will open along the way and you will get more information. You'll resonate in different places than you did before. And this is just the natural progression of your path. This is just that path opening. And at times, uh, you go through challenges. You know, this is, this is the path for everyone. Um, this is how we learn and grow and evolve. Um, on the Twin Flame path specifically, I wouldn't worry so much about the stages. Um, I mean, you can definitely learn more about each stage that Twin Flames go through. And that does help bring clarity to your path. But I think the more important point is to really tap into how you feel. Knowing your own field, knowing your own energy. Um, if any of you are interested in learning how to more fully um, maneuver through the world by using your own field and learning those mechanisms to like actually clear and ground and center yourself and um, learning about how to just manage your energetic body. Um, I have a great course for that. And um, most all twin flames are empaths. Uh, not all empaths are twin flames, but uh, we all have a different purpose and mission why we came to this planet at this time, why we came to these contracts, and why we came to um, learn and grow in these times. So... When we're opening and evolving and learning how to align more fully with ourselves on the twin flame path, there comes a point where you work enough with your twin and your own energy and uh, learning about what types of things are limiting you and being able to release those things, clearing that negativity, learning how to do the deep inner work. See, our society has uh, given a lot of uh, professional credentials to people who know in their mind and um, have great tools about the psychology of things and you as a twin flame uh, that is a part of why you go through such intensity and such intense uh, situations so that you can have the experience not just the knowing and the understanding and the logic behind the psychology of situations but the actual feeling frequency and the real hands-on life experience and there comes a point in time on your path where you're able to begin to turn that experience into your own wisdom your own understanding of why these things are at play so i would highly suggest that you uh, keep listening, especially to Sophia's uh, playlists and her readings because she talks a lot about the different stages of your person and yourself as you're clearing out these uh, misalignments. It's very helpful, helpful to understand like what you're actually experiencing. So when we all talk about like having a deception perception uh, where you're in that disillusionment, um, that's where you're not aligned with yourself. And many of us have blind spots for a reason. We need other eyes to help to see ourselves. Uh, it's easy to see other people. It's easy to read other people and to read energy. But when it comes to looking within and looking at yourself, we all have the blind spot that makes it difficult to see ourselves. Um... And this happens for various reasons, but um, this is also why community is important um, because we can draw strength from our community 
and from our allies and our helpers and our teachers. So I would encourage you all, if you're new to the path especially, to get an image reading. Everyone in the community can talk about this. Um, if you're feeling skeptical about starting the inner work and the programs, uh, don't delay. Skepticism can be used as a powerful tool. It's great to be skeptical and to be a good skeptic, you have to try new things. Um, so as you're learning more about this twin flame journey and the path begins to open to you more and more, you're going to see a series of more intense signs and signals and understandings about the process, about your person, about yourself. This is the way the universe communicates to you. You know, when you link up with your own synchronistic events and you get out of your own way, that flow will just open more and more. And this is where trusting the process comes in.